This video is sponsored by UCDKeys.com. UCD Keys are partnering with Cortex to bring you Windows 10 keys that work globally for just over $16. And you can get them discounted further by 20% by using the discount code C20. You can also get office keys, which also work globally. I've been using these keys myself and they work without any issues and get delivered to you quickly. Check out the links in the description and don't forget to use the discount code C20 for 20% off of your purchase at ucdkeys.com. Like most of you, I'm waiting patiently for the mining craze to end so that I can buy some GPUs. I've been fortunate enough to have AMD send me review samples for their 6000 series, but Nvidia and their partners still have me on their naughty list, so I have to buy their GPUs if I want to review them. I'm actually particularly interested in the upcoming 3080 Ti, and we'll talk about that towards the end of this video. So I've been putting off making this video as I know it's hard to get excited about hardware if you can't get it, but I think there are a few things regarding the current GPU market that are worth discussing, so why not take the opportunity to reveal some juicy exclusive leaks on upcoming GPUs while also addressing those issues. Let's get right into it. AMD will be launching two GPUs in March, the 6700 XT and the 6700 XT. <laughs> no, that wasn't a mistake, you heard me right, there are two versions of the 6700 XT coming. Now officially there will only be one 6700 XT but there are two different ASICs. So ASIC A will have a TGP of up to around 230 watts while ASIC B will be more limited and have a TGP of up to around 189 watts or thereabouts. What that means is that there will be premium models out there which will be called the 6700 XT with ASIC A and reference models also called the 6700 XT with ASIC B. I would assume that AIBs might call the premium model something like 6700 XT OC as they will obviously perform a bit better. I'm guessing the difference between ASIC A and B will be somewhere between 5 to 8 percent extra performance depending on things like the cooling solution but mostly likely just a small bump for the premium model. The reference one will be about 20 to 25 percent faster than the 5700 XT so that's about on par with the 3060 Ti from Nvidia or maybe a little bit faster. It will have 12 gigabytes of VRAM but it's going to use the same VRAM as on the 68 and 6900s so that's GDDR6 at 16 gigabit per second, which is pretty fast and pretty expensive RAM for a mid-range GPU. Some sources out there have already revealed it will be launching on the 18th of March, and that is indeed the planned date, on the week of the 15th of March, so about a month from now. The clocks haven't been finalized yet, but right now they're landing in the 2500 to 2600 megahertz range. There will also be a 6700 none XT coming later, probably mid-April, although that hasn't been decided on, and that one will have 6 gigabytes of VRAM. I've actually revealed this detail, I think, about a month ago or even earlier on my Discord, so if you want to have exclusive information like that, consider supporting me on Patreon and you'll get access to my Discord server. Now going back to the XT, why is AMD launching two versions of the 6700 XT? Well, back in the 6800 and 6900 XT launches, the original plan from AMD was actually to launch a lot more 6800s and 6800 XTs than 6900 XTs. But as they realized that demand was through the roof and they would be selling all the GPUs they put out there, they decided to change this close to launch and put way more 6900 XTs in the channel compared to the cheaper models. In fact, the vast majority of 6800 and 6800 XTs out there are per
perfectly good 6900 XT dies. AMD's yields have been excellent and I'll come back to this later in the video. So if your yields are excellent and the market is buying everything you put out, why would you want to sell products for cheap? AMD is all about increasing margins as their CEO has made clear and in the current market, much like Nvidia, AMD has no interest in selling their more affordable models. So one likely explanation for these two different ASICs for the 6700 XT is that AMD will have the cheaper models out there for brownie points, but they won't actually be available in volume. Whereas I suspect the more premium ASIC, which I imagine will come at a significant price increase, will be the one that will be filling up the channels. AMD doesn't want you to buy the cheaper models, but they want to be able to announce an MSRP that's lower than what you'll actually be paying. You know, like what Nvidia have been doing for a while now. And can you blame AMD? They are not a not-for-profit charity. They are a company with responsibilities towards their shareholders. They need to increase margins. And from their perspective, it would be silly not to take advantage of the current market, where even $1,500 GPUs are flying off the shelves. So yeah, there are three models coming. The 6700 around mid-April, and the 6700 XT and 6700 XT OC, let's call it, in mid-March. But to be clear, publicly, AMD is probably not making a distinction between the two different 6700 XT A6. Keep your eyes out for OC models, and don't blame AIBs if all the models that will be at retail are much more expensive than what AMD announces. It's not AIBs trying to milk you, it's just that they will probably have to pay more for these premium A6 in order to have significant volume available. I hope that makes sense. So, to be honest, there's no point in even talking about what the MSRP will be, but if performance is close to the 3060 Ti or even above it, you can probably guess. So, this is information that I've confirmed with multiple sources and that I've been gradually revealing on my Discord. But this wouldn't be a Cortex video without some wild speculation, now would it? When I think about the current market and how both AMD and Nvidia are taking advantage of it, I can't help but wonder wonder if there's something else that AMD will be launching soon. Think about it. If you are AMD and you know that Nvidia has the 3090 with its massive margins, which Nvidia is selling, and you know that Nvidia is launching the 3080 Ti soon, and you know that whatever you put out people will rush to buy, what product would you be interested in putting out on the market? I have a sneaky suspicion that we will see a huge Navi coming out very soon. So that's something like a 6950 XT or just 6900 XTX, something like that, at around the same price as the 3090, maybe a couple hundred dollars cheaper. I've asked around to see if anyone has heard of this and no one seems to have, so take this as my own wild speculation, but I'm personally expecting AMD to launch their own Titan class GPU very soon, probably around late March or early April to take it advantage of the current climate. Why wouldn't they? What would such a GPU look like in terms of specs? If you saw my review of the 6000 series, you might remember that there are hard limits set for the clocks and for the memory in Radeon software. Also, there's a power limit of about 300 watts in place. So AMD can squeeze a bit more performance by unlocking these clocks and the memory on Navi 21 and allowing for something like 350 watts to be used. The 6900 XT is effectively just a minor upgrade over the 6800 XT for a significant price increase. The dies are the same, the 6900 XT is just unlocked at the driver level. <laughs> that was an experiment that went well for AMD as sales have been good for the more expensive model. So I could be wrong, as I have been in the past, but I'm pretty confident that this will be the direction that AMD will take, and I think we will be seeing a 6950 or 6900 XTX very soon. 
Now, before we wrap up this quick update, I did say I'd discuss the mining situation and the current market. So let me tell you a story. Back in 2017, I was told that a Russian businessman went to one of these companies that I usually cover and that make GPUs and offered to purchase $50 million worth of mid-range GPUs that at the time were very good for mining at twice what they cost at retail. This GPU company said, sure, and filed this as a semi-custom order, you know, a joint project with this Russian company. Not only did they accept this $50 million and sold these mid-range GPUs for twice of what they would cost at retail, but they even included a custom bias that was tailored for mining efficiency. This is a true story, although obviously I left out the details of the parties involved. But if you look back at custom mining GPUs from 2017, you can easily figure out who was involved. So now when you see Nvidia claiming they are cutting the hash rate on 3060s to combat mining and how they are at war with miners and that miners won't be able to crack the biases of these GPUs, that they are for gamers only, yeah, that's true for you and for me. It's not true for mining farms. These guys from Russia and China will knock on Jensen's office and buy Ampere GPUs for twice of what they cost at retail. And Nvidia will even put a special bias on them. Same with AMD. That's what's going on right now in the background. And that's why you are seeing mining farms filled with Ampere GPUs. That's how these GPUs get there. And this might help you understand why these companies have no interest in serving the gaming market when they will be making half the money that they can make with miners. So while Nvidia is coming out publicly with smoke and mirrors, claiming they are clamping down on miners, in the background there's nothing stopping them from selling directly to farms and filing those sales as semi-custom projects or joint projects or something of that nature. So if you are desperate for one of these new GPUs, my suggestion from the 6000 series review still holds true. Get yourself a NOLED TV instead. Wait until the end of the year to upgrade your GPU because crypto works in cycles. There will be a rally towards the summer and then the bubble will burst for another couple of years and GPUs will be back at normal prices. Until then, you can enjoy a truly transformative gaming experience with a 4K 120Hz OLED display with your current GPU, especially now that the 48-inch LG can be found for affordable prices and the a 42 inch model is coming for around the thousand dollars. So for now, keep your old GPU and play 1080p upscaled on a 4K OLED. If you really want one of these upcoming 6700 XTs, I would suggest getting them directly from AMD.com, as I imagine they will have a few there regularly, just for the sake of saying they are available at MSRP. <laughs> Make sure you resubscribe to get notifications working again, and let me know what you think of all this down in the comments. Like I said, I'm hoping to review the 3080 Ti when it comes out, but to be able to bring you independent reviews, it seems I will have to buy the hardware myself, so consider joining my Patreon. By doing so, you also get access to the Cortex Discord server, where I frequently share exclusive bits of information regarding upcoming products. Give this video a like and share it on social media. Thanks for watching, and until the next one.